Hi everyone, um, welcome to my channel. I just came back from a 260 kilometers um, breakfast run with my friend. I haven't been on the ride um, for about over two months. So this was my first ride in two months. Uh, was, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Now we just wanna go all the way to Pusabi, have breakfast, or to get back or something. Yes, you got another coming back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm getting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting there. So after my wrongs told me to ride faster, 120, 130, I listened and I pushed the bike. Unfortunately, while I was pushing the bike, my family was being harassed by the trekker company because apparently my bike was shaking uncontrollably. Um, so they were asking my family if I'm safe, they think I'm involved in an accident. I need a bigger bike.
Je ne sais pas qu'il y a du trailer. Je ne sais pas qu'il y a du trailer. Je ne sais pas qu'il y a du trailer. Je ne So our initial plan was to ride to Ilans Bay, which is about 200 kilometers from um, from Cape Town and ride back. That would have been um, more than close to 500 um, kilometers in one day. But we decided to have lunch at Picket Bag, not lunch, breakfast at Picket Bag and ride back because the weather was also not favorable. We are still going back to Ilans Bay, but we're going to sleep over. So while we were riding, enjoying the ride, um, I just saw a police um, a traffic officer and I thought he was going to stop us, unfortunately. Fortunately, actually, he didn't stop us. This is because um, on our trip from Prince Albert, we were stopped by police on the N1 and they discovered that uh, my uh, my license disc was behind. Fortunately, when I check on their system, I had applied for it. Um, it's just that I, on the day that it was going to be delivered to my house, I was not there and I never followed up. I was given a, 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 a verbal warning for that. <laughs> 